What's up? <clears throat> yeah, I watched that finals. <laughs> you know what you expect. You know Golden State was going to win that thing. I mean, Steph got down. You know, him and KD could have been co-MVPs. I mean, it was it was just like it was a matter of who you wanted to give it to. But it was never a contest. And I hope that this finals is the last time that, <clears throat> you know, those two teams are in it. Because it's been... Basically, you take 2016 out the equation and go and state and put that broom. So, there was no suspense here with it. You know, the only suspense was will Steph get his finals MVP or KD. That was the only suspense. So, now you're looking at history. And they are one of the greatest teams ever. They are a dynasty. You win three chips in four years, you're a dynasty. Now, Steph Curry, one of eight players now with... Uh, Three chips and multiple league MVPs. And now Kevin Durant's got back-to-back -back, uh, finals, MVPs, and chips. So, obviously, his move from OKC, who going to sit there and argue against that move now? I mean, duh. You know, that that's it. Steve Kerr, <clears throat> multiple winning rings. And, you know, that's, you know, he's doing his thing. I mean, you know, they're coaching up. Clay Thompson, very underrated, great player, Hall of Famer. Draymond Green, you know, big time. You know, uh, got to look at everybody on that squad. Sean Livingston comes up through Andre Kadaya, who's, you know, he's that guy. May not be an all-star anywhere else, but on their team, he's just as important as anybody. So, you know, they played. They were the best team. Once they beat Houston, I felt that was the real finals, which it turned out to be, you know, because well, what you got in this series, pretty much at the game one, that was it. And then find out LeBron had uh, broke his arm. He understands. So, I mean, J.R. Smith, that was... <laughs> You lose a game like that, that magnitude, and you can't lose, like he said. He said Golden State was like the New England Patriots of basketball. And he was, he was right. You got to be real precise because if you give them an inch of life, they will take it from you. So <clears throat> that was, um, I was pretty accurate about that. And so Golden State got a chance to come back again. They should win. Probably they got a chance to win another ring or two. You know, they're, they're definitely something special and unique to their eyes to see. Like I said, Steph Curry's changed the culture of the game. And, you know, you got Kevin Durant. And, you know, as far as my concern, he is the best player going, I mean, because I'll do respect to LeBron. But KD comes up huge. I mean, and, you know, he he just needed a cast around him, which I've always felt. That's the only thing that, you know, really much separated him from LeBron, really. I mean, LeBron may have him all around, rebound assists and all that. But, man, come on, KD, <laughs> he's something else. He's something special. And you find out on the biggest stage, he's becoming Mr. June, like Paul Pierce quoted as saying. So they got a chance to get back. But this finals was lackluster. Uh, Golden State be tearing you behind up in the third quarter. You just can't you can't really do much with what they got. They find a way to, you know, get these games. Um, they just, you know, they just come at you. They don't let up. So you got to play these guys. These guys... You play 48 minutes, they may play four minutes, but they play four minutes of ball that they just can wipe the floor with you. I've never seen anything quite like that. And I saw the Showtime Lakers, I've seen other teams, but the way these guys hit those trays and then they break you down, they can demoralize you with quickness. And you got the right skill set, <clears throat> you can get down with them. So David West got some more jewelry. Swaggy P got a ring now, that's funny. <laughs> Swaggy got some jewelry now. So, you know, but... um. Those guys are winners, man. They they they're playing at a high level. The NBA's got bad parity. They don't have any real good parity because till you get some balance going on, you're gonna keep getting this. And I think Golden State can win another ring or two, but you know you you, you know and, and this is gonna be a real question mark. What LeBron James is gonna do? You know where he's gonna go? You know um doesn't change my opinion about his legacy. I mean the man went to eight finals for crying out loud. He's straight. He's been the nine in his career, so three and six. So yeah, but. You can't take away the man as a winner. He's won rings from the Miami Heat. He came back to the land. He, you know, he got that ring. So what you want for the man to do is stat machine. He's, you know, had an incredible career. Who wouldn't want to trade pretty much trade places with him? Because, I mean, you get the opportunity to win, you know. But yeah, sometimes, you know, when I what I say about Golden State is one thing I say. You, you, you know, they're more like Floyd Mayweather to me in the sense of this. You can't hit what you can't catch. It. And they find a way. You know, to get it done. And their defense is underrated, so congratulations to them. But this finals wasn't nothing to, nothing to write home about. It was, 
truth is, it just matter who's going to get MVP and what's LeBron going to do because it really wasn't much to watch or see. So that's just my take on the finals, hoping the Heat come back. And, you know, hopefully one of these days there'll be some real NBA parity where t- teams have a chance of the unknown. But you know, right now, because Golden State is focused and they're still in their primary peak, they got a chance to probably win another another chip or two. So that's what's up. So there wasn't much to really take from this game. This game was lackluster as all get out because they just was flat, you know, and yeah, so Tyrone Lue did what he could do. Kevin Love played pretty good, but, you know, just it was a wrap. So, all right, I'll take it easy. Perch.